everyone, Ivy Lee Gaming here, and today we're playing Dragonair Silent Gods. For today's video, I was live, well, yesterday, and I did a ton of summons during my live stream, so I want to share those with you. So for this video, it's going to be some clips from my live stream where I did over 500 summons. Yes, we were epic hunting. Uh, and I might have done a cheeky Heliolite die pull along the way, but I had a ton of Starlight die saved with the goal of trying to get uh, as many of my important missing epics as possible. I'm missing some really important ones, so I had to pull. But before I get into showing you that clip, I do want to mention that today's video is sponsored by Dragonair Silent Gods. The best kind of sponsor, as I always say, because it's a game I already love and want to post content for anyway. So if you haven't already checked the game out, you can use the link in the description or the pinned comment. And it's available on Mac, PC, Android, iOS, Epic Games, and Steam. And there's been so much added for season two. They've added a new kinsfolk, the merfolk, uh, which are really, really cool. I love the design. There's new synergies for the elemental affinity. There are new types of DPS units with burn, ice blast, and thunderbolt. And lots of quality and life improvements. And oh my goodness, I am finding this season two to be a wonderful and it's, it's having, I'm having fun blasting through content way faster than I expected. So we're getting right into the grind early on. So brand new season, span new game. Let's roll the summons. All right, Dragonair Silent Gods has not been kind to me in some of the most important epics, guys. Ready for it? Heroes not obtained. A soul day, a dolphus. I could really use them. They are top tier for support in the fire element. They're almost, I mean, a dolphus especially could be considered a legendary by many. So good. And they pair very well together. Um, a soul day shield. She brings attack penalty. A dolphus shield. When he ha when there's excess shields. They turn into heals, so they're really good duo, especially for something like a Vortex, because a Soul Day also heals around her. Um, or is it shields around her? My brain is like trying to remember. It's both, right? Gr oh, defense up. Shields around her. Shields around her, not heals. My bad. But yeah, that's they have to be close to her, which makes her have her value. I wish I would know from experience, but I don't have one yet. Um, I also don't have a Shalter yet, a really great element of a Dauntless team. And I have Theraval and Sutha. I could definitely use a Shalter. Um, and I don't have... Manda is my only new season hero I don't have out of all the epics. Besides Kirza and Galid, who we get... Or Galid? 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 Who we get from, um, like, Pillar of Trial and... Bay Meander. And also, I don't have Joyce. Joyce is huge. I don't really know much about Lethander, if I care to get him or not, or Gareth seems okay. Theodore doesn't seem that good. Dalbum is really cool for Arena, but I don't think I'd use him elsewhere. Would you scroll both, or at least Adolphus? Oh, absolutely. I would definitely scroll both. They would be key parts of my team, for sure. I would have scrolled them a long time ago. <laughs> They are top tier epics, which is why I, I kind of wanted to save to do a big burst of summons all at once because I figured it'd be a fun way to start the season of trying to get my missing epics. So it's going to be a lot, but let, let's we're going to skip. We're probably going to skip. Um, Actually, do I because it's 500, I just skip all of them. We're just going to fast click. It's 500 summons, right? Maybe when I haven't got it for a few, I'll let it go. All right. Because we do have a pity with Epic. So the Starlight Die does have a pity. If you haven't hit an Epic in 35 Die, 
you get an epic, just like with the legendaries. So we're actually getting close to a pity for an epic, so maybe I'll let it play out just for sake of fun. There it is. There's our epic. And we're mostly going to have dupes, but that's okay. This is currency to level up my artifacts. And as you can see, I want to say it looks like a lot. But I started the season with like 70 something thousand and I'm already down to in my 30 thousands. It goes fast once you get leveling stuff up, so dupes are always welcome. And if you're newer, dupes are welcome because you buy the artifacts in the first place. Alright, I better get fast click in. We're gonna... I have all the rares. So I don't need any rares. Ah! Come on, let's go. I need a, a hotkey. Oh, okay. Yep, he is one of the new burn epics. We got him. They're just making me hit 35 pity for every epic. It's fine. Oh, they are, aren't they? Streamer luck, guys. Streamer luck. Summons are rigged. I just have to hit pity for an epic. No big deal. Just... All right, a Dane. Hello, Mage Sight. Okay, finally, they're like, fine, here you go. Yeah, you definitely do need a multiple pairing for the new heroes, I would agree. Which is, I really, really feel like that Baldele is kind of needed. I'm a little bit hesitant to build out my Ice Bolt team if I don't get her. But after I'm done with this big blast of starlight, we're going to pull a 5 Papa Heliolite. Because why not? And then I'll be doing more Heliolite die summons. Hopefully this week. Ideally, if I get stuff tomorrow, I'll probably just do it for a YouTube video tomorrow. Not on Twitch, so make sure you're following me there too. <laughs> Alright. But if I don't get it till later on Tuesday, then I'll just do it on my stream on Wednesday. If I can resist. Oh god, I don't know. Hopefully we get them this way. I hope I get them. Like, we don't know for sure. Alright, another epic. We got a head geo. Very, very good for rally synergy. Just not in situations where melee is not ideal. Like a lot of the continental bosses, aka the chaos shadows. Harder to keep them alive. But he's great against the um, endgame dragon. He's fine there. At least as good as he can be. <laughs> anyway, melee is fine versus ranged is fine for that at least. Although AoE is the most preferred for the endgame dragon. But that was season one. We're on season two. Come on. Three hundred. Oh, this is crazy. Aha! Isotarian and Nathaniel. We got the brothers. We got the old brothers. Oh my gosh. Give me one of my missing epics at least. Come on, game. No missing epics yet. I should be counting how many ep epics we actually pull, but... Nah. Okay, she's new, but I do have her already. I got her on the banner. One of the Ice Bolt epics. Not one that I would pick to use as of now. I like the other ones better. Sadiq and um, Bledin. Bledin for sure. Bledin would be the one. I saw the new rare, but I already got one. <laughs> Ugh. Come on, give me a Solde or Adolphus today. That's my big ask. A Solde or Adolphus. Okay, I already have you. Come on. My puppy just sighed. I know, Maya. I know. <laughs> she sighed for me. Ah! Come on. There's such good heroes that I don't have that I need, especially if I do want to do a wild team with Flora in 
Vortex again. A Soldite and Adolphus are kind of needed. Alright, who we got? <sighs> no. Especially once we get later into the game when you need shields for Vortex. Yeah, we're just- this is just the starlight die now. 500 starlight die. Just trying to get at least one of my missing epics from 500 starlight die. Come on, game. <laughs> They're not being kind to me today. Ah! The last Thunderbolt epic. Okay. I got all the new epics now, at least. Come on. Your server 2 clock is finished, but you haven't... Um, the end of Season 1 is ending in a few hours. Yeah, I think at reset you should ex go right into Season 2. It should, that should... When you open the game next, it should... I'm not sure if there's a weird in-between period or not. I guess we'll find out if it's different um, than the first day ones. But I think it just rolls right into the next one. There is a wait period or... Did you experience it firsthand? Like, within the last two days, because other than that, it's... It's all been instant reset with the first day after maintenance, but there was maintenance. You're in between two clocks. Oh. Yeah, I mean, there's a few days, but my few days were backward. They said the thing ended after something started. Yeah, I mean, well, what, what does one of your clocks say that, yeah, if you, I mean, if you, in, in a few hours, your clock says it's done, right? So that's when it should be done and you should be able to come in to season two, I would assume. It's supposed to be smooth transitions. All right, so we got another epic, but not who we need. <laughs> As we continue the summons and failing. It's a lot of rares. I haven't experienced it myself yet with my alt account to know 100% what it looks like. For a not a, not a day one switch, so... If it says you have a few hours left until the next season opens, then you should literally switch at reset. That was how it was intended. That's why they did the maintenance already for everybody. All right, Gladros is a very good epic. He will be top tier synergy with um with which we call it top tier synergy for the fire and necrotic combination now. Because, uh, like I said, Assault and Adolphus are kind of it. And he's amazing too. He brings shields, nice big shields. And he also brings um, a debuff uh, immunities to prevent the debuffs in the first place, which is even better. So he's going to be huge value for anybody trying to keep their wild team alive. Especially if you don't have Assault and or Adolphus. Adolphus is great to pair with another shield person because he turns the excess shields into heals. But I don't think you would use him and a soul day together unless they were alternate timed for the sake of Vortex covering all the big hits. Which probably could be a thing. To be fair, you could block the debuff with Gladros and then you could play use a soul day to place attack penalty. I guess. I guess she would still be an attack penalty hero. All right, come on. All 
Um, Deadbolt, I had 520 summons. We're down to 106. None of the epics. Wait, one epic I was missing. Manda, the new season epic I actually got. One. I got one of my missing epics so far. She's the only Thunderbolt hero I was missing. Now I have all of the new season epics except for the ones we get from the towers. Or the other content. <laughs> but Noah sold the Adolphus. Come on, come on. Just give me one of them. I mean, as you can see, I'm not getting many. They're making me hit pity a lot. <laughs> That's like two Karamans in a row. I do have Flora. Yes, I do. Only one copy, though. I would love another. Oh, here we go. Do back to back. Oh, another dang. Go away. Wow. I can't believe we did so many. Wow. I do have Flora, and I was using Wild last season. It's not going to be quite as good as this season. Unfortunately, the way they changed the buffs. I don't know what you mean, Dalad? What? Um, I already played some of the story. Before I started summoning here during this live stream. After I'm done with my summons, I'll go back to some story, probably. Or do some of the other side stuff, because a lot of the other things open. Maybe I'm, I think I'm going to go pop to the other... Um, maybe we do finish the story today. I don't know. Either I finish the story today... No, I I'll, I'll do some of the other um, exploration stuff in the Season 1 area, probably. And maybe do a little bit of dungeon grinding. Push my Grave of Venom. Yeah, I'm still streaming for a bit. I'm not done once I'm done with these summons. Okay. Ugh. No! We're getting down to the... I mean... All of those Starlight. I couldn't get one of the those... Ep I guess I did get one of my missing epics. But... Alright. 520... No, Arena Shop, no. Don't look at that. 520 epics, or epics, 520 starlight, and only one out of those, that batch of missing epics. Oh, I mean, it's not bad, I guess. At least I got one. But we're gonna, we're gonna end the summoning session part of this with a five pop on this old banner here. Why not? Let's, let's see if RNG could, could be nice to me. Oh, if they give me one now, I will laugh. Oh, okay. So today's session was a want, want, want. But as you can see, I have 16,000 Wormaro. These are going to be summons mostly. Um, I have more summons coming. So I will be doing more summons on this banner, hopefully this week. So all I did get out of all my new epics that I need, or the epics I did not have, at the very least we did get Manda, who was the last of the new heroes I was missing. Not so bad. At least we got someone. She's an enabler. She's got the cool turret thing too. She heal. They heal the other turrets, which is interesting. Why can't they heal people? That'd be fun. But yeah, I'm curious about her. I don't know. We will see. I don't know that I'm going to be using Thunder. Actually, I was thinking I might use Thunderbolt because I do have um, Shine Octon. So I thought it could be fun to pick another synergy. I have to pick another synergy to use to push to farm my Ice Frost Domain so I can get the resources to level up my core heroes. And I need to have another synergy for that. So I was thinking to do Thunderbolt. And with the lightning, because, well, why not? I got him. We might as well play. Why not? Oh, man. All right. So that's it for today's summons. 520 starlight die. And a five pop. That's all we got. 
<laughs> and if you haven't already, you can download Dragonair via Android, iOS, Mac, PC, Steam, or Epic Games using the link in the description or the pinned comment.